Today I'm going to show you how to make this low carb barbecue sauce that's so good people won't know it's not the real thing. So this is what you're going to need. 3 8 cup of vinegar. I'm just using standard plain white vinegar there. Uh, that's about six tablespoons or just under 90 mils. Then you'll need one and a half cups of tomato sauce if you're in America. Tomato sauce in the States is a lot different than what tomato sauce is in Australia. So what you'll want if you're in Australia is something like passata or tomato puree. In fact, this can's just the perfect size. This is 410 grams. Um, otherwise, if you're using tomato sauce in the States, that'd be about a 15 ounce can. You just want one that's plain though, no flavorings or anything in it. Next would be three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One and a half tablespoons of just plain yellow mustard, like American style mustard. Three quarter tablespoon Frank's red hot sauce. Then we've got a dash of cayenne pepper. So just go easy on that unless you like things spicy. You just want a little dash. Three quarter tablespoons of salt. That is optional. Three teaspoons of lemon juice. One and a half teaspoons of liquid smoke flavoring. And then six teaspoons of Splenda or your sweetener of choice, or you could use 18 drops of a liquid sweetener. Now the liquid smoke, if you have trouble finding that, I would search in Australia at a barbecues store. Barbecues Galore, I think, is where we got this one. Okay, so all you need to do is put everything except the mustard into a saucepan and start heating it. So we'll just got a small saucepan here, that should be big enough. And like I said, everything but the mustard. So starting with the vinegar. Next goes the tomato sauce, then the Worcestershire, Frank's Red Hot, the salt, just a dash of cayenne, lemon juice, liquid smoke, and the sweetener. I'm just going to mix these together and then we'll put it on the heat. So I've just got that on a medium heat at the moment because we're going to slowly start heating it. Just stir it periodically. So you can see there's some steam coming up. The sauce is definitely warm and it's getting ready to start bubbling. So before it does that, we want to take just a few spoonfuls of the sauce and add them into the mustard. And then just stir that together to mix it really well. Got that mixed. We'll just go ahead and add it back in with the sauce. And now stir that through thoroughly. So now we'll just continue to cook it until it's come to a boil. So when it comes to a boil, and you're not going to get a big rolling boil on this because we haven't, we've only got it on a medium heat and it's very thick, uh, but once you've got the boil there, just turn it down and we're going to let it simmer for just a few minutes. So that's been simmering for about four minutes stirring periodically just so it doesn't stick on the bottom or anything and now I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the heat and let it cool long enough to put it in the refrigerator. Now again you need to let this cool before you put it in the refrigerator. You don't want to put it in there when it's hot so bring it to room temperature first and the one thing I want to stress don't taste it right now. It doesn't taste bad but it might have a little peculiar taste to you at first and you might think oh this isn't going to be good. Just wait. When it comes out of the fridge it'll be perfect. Right, so that's come to room temperature now, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in my jar here. If you happen to have a squeeze bottle, you can put it in. That would be perfect. You rinse out an old one that you had laying around. I haven't got one, so I'm just going to use this jar. So now I'm just going to pop that in the fridge until we're ready to use it. So there it is, low carb barbecue sauce. And I gotta say, it's really, really tasty. You'll especially enjoy it on these chicken nuggets that I'm gonna show you in the next video.